Ron Kruk of Access TV fights with the rock star, making his return. Louis Felix, it's been almost 15 months since we've seen you in the CES cage. How pumped are you just to get back to work? I'm fired up, man. I uh, Words can explain how much this means to me and how ready I am to go. So, um, you know, sitting out these last 14, 15 months, it's been frustrating at, at, at some points, and then I kind of just sat back and got back to my wrestling and my boys at, over at Johnson & Wales, and that got me re-motivated to, to get back in here, and here we are, man. I'm just ready to go. We are excited to see you return at CES 42. You mentioned Johnson & Wales. This is the first year that you have taken a role helping to coach wrestlers at the D3 University. Talk about how you got involved and just what the experience has meant to you. Um, well, I was looking to get into coaching a little bit. Uh, I reached out to Lonnie Morris and Coach Allen, and they opened, they welcomed me in with open arms. And um, that this past season has probably been one of the greatest experiences of my life. Not just because of the way the season went and and how these guys went out and performed, but just just the whole camaraderie and these guys, the energy these guys brought to the table, and they got me motivated again to get back in here and get after it. And it's like one of those things, energy is contagious, and it was just all up and down the room. So um, it's a blessing, man, and, I, and I'm glad it happened. When you are on the shelf due to an injury, it, of course it's frustrating because you want to get back in there, but you don't want to push it. Mentally, was it a challenge to realize, okay, I got to get healthy, and how were you able to just mentally get through the layoff? Yeah, uh, the most frustrating part, like you said, is just not being able to be in there and competing when it's not your choice, you know? And uh, I think it just, it just came to a point where I, I just kind of let it go, and I was like, all right, I don't know when it's going to get better. I don't know how it's going to work. I'm just going to go about living life and hopefully eating better and doing things the right way. And we'll see when it happens. And, you know, going through the wrestling season and kind of just getting back in there, not really thinking about fighting and thinking about, you know, how I'm going to be physically and if I'm able to be, going to be able to do it again. Um, it just kind of happened. Uh, as the season was going on, I was getting more and more on the mat with the guys and stuff like that. And I, I started to feel better. I started getting stronger. And all of a sudden, next thing you know, you're training every day. You're working out every day. And, and whatever injuries like I had just kind of, you know, just, it, just not that it went away, but you just, your body as an athlete, you, you don't pay attention to it as much. So, um, I credit the wrestling, man. That's I, that, that was my base. That's where I started, and that's really what got me back. So We're looking forward to this matchup. What do you know about your opponent, Dewan Pinckney, and how do you beat him? He's a tough guy. He has a lot of experience. Um, you know, he's a martial artist, man. I'm just, I, I know what I'm bringing to the table. Uh, I got to mix it up, get my wrestling, and set up my hands and my feet, man. So, uh just like any other fight, I, uh, as the fight goes on, I kind of start figuring guys out. Once I get my timing down and figure my range, I feel like anybody's going down. So, Lewis, best of luck. We appreciate the time. Thank you, brother. The rock star returns tonight, CES 42, exclusively on Access TV, 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 Pacific. You don't want to miss this one. Let's go. <laughs> He's ready.